Okay, so here's part two. Now I have your three card conclusion. Let's take a look and see what you got. Oh, you have the magician. Awesome. Oh, and you got the same card that he got also too, the death card. And, and then we've got the ace of, of wands. So this is really cool because this card here, the magician, it really backs up what I'm emphasizing in the, uh, in the rest of these cards. He's saying you have the talents, you have the skills, you have the ability to learn. You just got to trust in yourself and make it happen. You can make it happen. You already have all that you need to manifest and create whatever you want. You have already have what you need to manifest and create what you want. However, you're hanging on to some deep, dark stuff. Let it go. Make room for loving yourself and being the magical woman that you actually are. And once you do that, this, this hand here is throwing, is catching the seeds that God is throwing down to you. There's so many opportunities and possibilities of things that you can do that you have the ability to do, that you have the skill and the talent to do, but you're not, um, you're not trusting in yourself. So put your hand out there. <laughs> There's my hand. Put your hand out there and catch those seeds and plant them. Get it going. Stop feeling like the world is like such a big, huge burden. Once you put put your seeds in the ground and, and water them and nurture them, you'll be like this woman here sitting in this beautiful Garden of Eden with all of this lush and beauty all around her, manifesting so much charisma and many things around her. All the people will want to like know what you're what's your skill what's your talent what's your secret there are so many people who are going to want to follow you and look up to you that's a huge responsibility but don't let it scare you because you're you're going to be being followed you're following the divine and and not yourself when you follow the divine you don't have to worry about whether or not um you're good enough to be a leader or you're good enough for someone to follow you you're, they're not following you. They're defying, They're following the, the God energy that flows through you. So put your hand out. Catch the seeds. Get rid of that old shit. So you can be the, the queen and the manifester of magic. I'm thinking that within a few weeks, you're going to start to see that you really are a magical person. And, and you can do anything you want. And once you and Travis get yourselves like... On track together in your relationship and I'm seeing that you're you're both going to be um, really really happy about what you can create together so there's the beautiful ocean view that I have here from my Costa Rica second story looking this is my second story view off of <laughs> off here I thought you just might like to see that um, I manifested that for myself, so uh, there are many beautiful things in the world that you can manifest for yourself and replace with this, replace these, these other emotions um, that are like making you feel burdened and left out and, and just and, like throwing you into some deep depressions. You don't have to do that. It's, it's time to move on. You're, you're an inspir inspiring you have an inspirational, inspiring little girl within you, and you're a charismatic, beautiful, leading woman, and you've got so many amazing things that come just from you, and then when you put yourself together with your, with your partner, you guys are just going to, like, blow the world away with all the amazing stuff that you're going to be doing together and creating together.